Welcome to today's video on section 1.1. Um, the first thing we were going to talk about here is how to, do, to read a graph and use a graphing utility like your calculator. Um, the rectangular coordinate system. Um, there's certain things in the rectangular co coordinate system that you need to know. The first thing is um, the x-axis is the horizontal axis. The y-axis is the vertical axis. The origin is the intersection of the x and y. So the origin would be right here, and that is the point 0, 0. That is the origin. There are four quadrants, and they go counterclockwise. The first quadrant there, the second quadrant there, third, and fourth, counterclockwise. And ordered pay in each quadrant or each point that you um, graph is what's called an ordered pair. So an ordered pair is basically um, tells you where to put the point. It consists of an x-coordinate, and a y-coordinate. So each coordinate is an x and a y. Now, if you want to plot some points here, First thing you got to remember, and let's go back to our graph up here, is that in the first quadrant, x and y are both positive. In the second quadrant, x is negative and y is positive. In the third quadrant, they're both negative, and the fourth quadrant, x is positive and y is negative. So that helps you because if you want to graph, for example, two, negative 2, 4, you know that that is in the second quadrant because x is negative. So you go 1, 2, and y is positive 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you put your point at negative 2, 4. Go ahead and try the other ones. Pause it, and then um, I'll graph them for you in a second. For example, b4, negative 2. Negative 2 means go down 2, so it's right there. There's B. C is negative 3, 0. There's negative 3, 0. It means it's going to be on the axis. And then D is 0, negative 3, right there. Graphing an equation using a chart or point plotting. So basically, if we make a table, it says to start with 3, and end with negative 3. So we're going to go 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And we're going to substitute them in. So 4 minus 3 squared. Well, 4 minus 9 gives me a negative 5. 4 minus 2 squared. So 4 minus 2 squared. That means 4 minus 4 is 0. And 4 minus 1 squared, 4 minus 1 is 3. And you just keep going. 4 minus 0 is 4. Uh, negative 1 would be the same as 1, so it would be 3. And then negative 2, because negative 2 squared is 4, would be 0. And then uh, negative 3 would be the same as 3, because negative 3 squared is 9, so 4 minus 9 is negative 5. When you graph this, um, sorry, 3, negative 5, 3, 4, 5. So 3, negative 5 would be there. Um, 2, 0, 
one three. Sorry, one three would actually be right there. And then zero four, and then negative one three, negative two zero, and negative three, negative five. So it looks like this. It's a parabola. All right, so go ahead and try the next one on your own. You can pause it. Um, four minus x, the same thing. We'll start with negative three and end with three. So four minus negative three is seven. Four minus negative two is six. Four minus negative one is five. Four minus zero, four. 4 minus 1, 3, 2, 1. So negative 3, 5, 6, 7, and then over 3, 2, 3. So then it just keeps going down 1 every time. And notice it's a straight line because it's a linear equation. It's just x, it's not x squared. Now, absolute value, if you notice, we'll start with negative 4 here, and we'll go to 2 by making a table. So negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3, but then the absolute value negative 3 is 3. So that's what we're going to do for every one. So negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Absolute value negative 2 is 2. Uh, 1, then 0. Then it's going to be 1, 2, and 3. So it looks something like like that. Remember, absolute value graphs are like a V. Um, hold on to this part here. We're not going to talk about the graphing calculator yet. We'll talk about this in class um, and how to create tables on your calculator. So the next part is intercepts. And remember from Algebra 1 and Geometry that intercepts are where the graph crosses an axis. If I learned how to spell, an axis. So for example, the x-intercept is where the graph crosses the x-axis. And the y-intercept is where the graph crosses the y-axis. So in this picture, it says to identify the x and y intercepts. Well, if you notice, here's the, the x, or sorry, the y-intercept, and here's the x-intercept. So the x-intercept is negative 1, 0. And the y-intercept would be 0, 2. Here, if you notice, the y-intercept would be 0, 4. The x-intercept, well, does it ever cross the x-axis? And the answer is no, so then there is none or no x-intercept. Here, if you notice, the y-intercept is 0, 0. And the x-intercept is also 0, 0, because it basically crosses the x and y axis at the origin, which is on both the x and y axis. So that concludes our video for today. Um, make sure you bring your graphing calculator um, to class, because we're going to talk about that. And also, for your homework, because we are doing graphing, 
you want to bring graph paper because any graphs that are not done on graph paper will not count and you'll get a zero on your homework. All right, enjoy the rest of your evening and I'll see you guys tomorrow in class.